I grew up learning how to save and build wealth for myself, and I'm putting money away in the bank working all the time. And when I discovered that the Fed can print money out of, out of nothing, essentially print, give out credit and just print money out of nothing, it uh, inflates the dollar. And so my, you know, the inflation rate was higher than my interest than my interest rate. I was, I was losing money. The only one in many now. The Fed Reserve has got to go. How you doing so uh, I'm down here with uh, with a pretty good set group of people uh, protesting the Federal Reserve. Well, I'm handing out literature hoping to get people interested in what the government has done to our money. Is this an organized event? Uh, it's a grassroots event, organized event. It's, it's, it's no political party exactly or anything like that. It's spreading awareness of what's really going on with these corrupt banks, their cronies, and you know, special interest groups and all that stuff. The Federal Reserve is uh, one of the leading causes of uh, the boom and bust cycle that we have uh, in the economy and uh, basically they're the reason why we see the middle class shrinking and we see the uh, upper class uh, not necessarily growing but they're but they're certainly separating themselves much more than the uh, from, from the middle class and the poor and all this is due to uh, not capitalism but actually through government subsidies via the Federal Reserve which is making an unfair marketplace and do you think the Fed is become such a pop popular topic of discussion? Well, because they're, they're uh, charged with two mandates. One, full employment, and two, price stability. And they're not doing a, a good job on either one of them. We've got 9% unemployment, and that's only the, that's the official number. The unofficial number is a lot higher. I think when Ron Paul came on the scene, that was really his issue, his main issue. And so people started finding out about it. The economy continues to suffer, and I think Ben Bernanke and the Fed have a lot to do with that. Ron Paul was talking about it in 2007 and 2000. Well, he's been talking about it for about 30 years, but in when he was running for president and he was debating, he was the only one speaking about it in 2007, 2008. Everyone called him crazy. Yeah, and the timing was right, apparently, because it's definitely a topic now. Uh, there's so much information on YouTube and the internet in general. Um, you can't help but stumble upon yeah. it, right? <laughs> all I want, I was just craving more knowledge on how it works. I'd stay up, you know, all night. Know, for nights on end, just learning about it, and uh, it's just a big secret. No one knows, you know, no one knows what's going on. When you have artificially low interest rates, it creates booms, and then there's an ine inevitable bust. And during the bust, people lose their jobs. Uh, if people are in debt, they may lose other things like their houses. And you know, people are starting to wake up to the fact that this is a rigged system. Um, it's not a conspiracy. It just happens to be what's evolved over time uh, due to some of the incentives that have been provided by big government. And the Federal Reserve Act of 1913 was a huge incentive to start taking over the banking system via government power because it created this ability to create new money out of nothing, which we didn't have before.